look what I have run into a 1936 camp campster two known in the world Hey guys, I'm Mark with The Art of RVing. If you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. Hit that notification bell and also hit my thumbs up. I know you're gonna love this. I just keep finding these jewels. Here we go. 1936 K-Craft Camster. Check out this awesome color on it. It's aluminum skin, you'll see. Look at that old school rod across there. Looks like you got a counter at the top here. And it's got these cabinets that open up. Okay, there's some things in there. This one flips up like that. Whoops. This one flips up. And over. This counter space across there. And then in here is going to be your cooler. Looks like they have something to freeze down there for their ice. I wonder if that's the original 1936 Pepsi Cola. Hmm place for your paper towels. Looks like they got their stove down here. Look at the colors on that, it's beautiful. I can't believe it's from 1936. So you guys know I'm into low tech. So this is the back of the trailer and this is the bracket that just basically goes up, goes over and comes back down that holds up this back hatch. And you just pick it up and stick it right in there. Low tech, works every time. While we're looking in the back, we might as well look at the back. <laughs> All right, check out this beauty. California, you know it. Dude, and look at this old school light on the back. <laughs> awesome. So let's make our way down the side of it. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like they have the original rack that goes on the top. And then it looks as though that's probably your awning right there. I love these windows with this rain guard at the top. I guess that's a drip guard. Eh, that thing's great. Look at this fender on it. 1936. He said the original pictures on it had the wagon wheels on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess from 36 you probably would have wagon wheels. And then same side on the front here. The lines on it are absolutely beautiful. I love the little window in it. We'll go inside here in just a second. There's a shot of the front of it. I wonder if this came stock with it here. Huh. I don't know. All right, so here we go down the teardrop this side. It looks like we got a sign there. Not all who wonder are lost. Amen to that. It's got a door on both sides of the teardrop. And this window here. And we'll see if that opens here in a second. The shape of that. The quality of craftsmanship on these old trailers never fell to amaze me. I mean, think of it, 1936 in this good a shape. One of two. All right, so let's take a peek inside. Look at those doors. Man, they're like solid wooden doors on it. I wonder if those are the curtains or the other side. Yeah, I bet those curtains have been flipped around. Oh, they did it that way so you could see it out the window, sure. Let's go check this out. Well, there's the bed, of course. And then up here, there's the front of it. Looks like they've got some hooks across. Looks like they got a shelf in there. Oh, well, these collars are amazing. Oh, you got a pink wall and a green wall. Huh. We've got some insulation there. So here's a shot of the back of it here. I found it interesting in here about the cabinetry. One reason is, look how they've curved the wood all the way around the edges. I don't know if that was the thing that they just did back then in 36 or not. Look how good a shape this wood is in. Big shelf there, shelf in the middle, and then you got your two cupboards on either side. I'll bet you that is the original lot from 1936 right there. So right below the shelves in the middle in the back, they got this awesome storage here that you can put your clothes in. So here's the window in it. Let's just see if it still works. You think so from 1936? That is totally amazing. Look how good a shape all this aluminum. Two in the world? Come on, man. 
I'll see how they've welded in these brackets at the top to support this roof on it. It's surprising how much room there is. The curves give it such a, I, I know I'm not telling you guys anything. All you guys that are teardrop fans. There's so much room in here. Check out this old electrical outlet here. Hey, you can still use it. I mean, that's in good shape. I would have loved to seen it with the wagon wheels on it. <laughs> That'd be cool. Man, I just can't get enough of this teardrop. Oh, nice. So it looks like on the roof rack, it's some kind of rubber like that. I don't know if that's original or not, but it keeps the rain off your stuff. It keeps it from sliding around. You know, I love old tech, and there you go. You've got a leather strap onto an eyelet, man. Bad. 1936 Jack, I guess you call that. Not much different than ours.